And shout out again to all those people who hate my guts, but is sitting in a quiet place listening to my show. You are obsessed and sick, okay? Okay, I'll be right back and let's get into something else. What's good you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ebony. All right, you guys, we have one topic to get into and this is going to actually be two stories in regards to Doja Cat. So we're going to talk about Doja Cat fans feeling like Doja is having some type of mental breakdown, Doja Cat shaving her eyebrows and addressing that mental breakdown, and then an underground artist, a black woman, Ayakmi, if I'm saying that correctly, calling out Doja Doja Cat and accusing Doja Cat of being mean to her but then stealing her entire aesthetic and I'm gonna tell you guys it's a little bit weird so let's start with the whole mental breakdown so for those of you guys who don't know I'm sure everyone knows at this point that Doja Cat did take to her Instagram and she shaved her head and people were wondering why she did it well Doja Cat did take to her Instagram on live and she explained why she felt this was necessary That's what I I feel like I, I was never supposed to have hair anyway. I like, don't like having hair. I never liked having hair. I cannot tell you one time since the beginning of my life that I've ever been like, this is cool. I just do not like to have hair. Um, I remember feeling so just exhausted with like, working out like whenever I went to go like train I had like a trainer at one point and I'd be wearing wigs and they would be like getting like tacky they'd like re-tack because of the moisture and then they'd start sliding and peeling off of my head while I'm like in this like doing this incredibly strenuous thing and be working out but like I couldn't focus because I was more concerned with how I looked and how my hair was doing and like how to keep it uh, adhered to my to my scalp and then like it would slide off and then I'd put on a beanie there was times where like I'd put a beanie on top of my wig that's on top of a wig cap that's on top of braids and I just can't believe that it took me this long to be like shaped my head because first of all I don't wear my hair out. You guys have seen me wear my natural hair out. I had like two eras. I had like two eras where my hair would be out. I like would straighten it. The only time I ever, I mean there was a, there was a moment where it was natural and then I don't even wear it natural cause I don't feel like it. And then it's just like, it's just a nightmare, dude. I'm over it. I'm gonna, um, I'm really liking this. It's what, what is the use of having hair if you're not wear it out? I don't even, I don't even sport it. So as you guys see, Doja is pretty much saying that her hair, it was tearing her down. She talked about it being super tacky, wearing wigs and having to do things and without her hair, she feels free. Now people started actually comparing her to Britney Spears. I seen one tweet that said Britney Spears in 2007 and then it said Doja Cat in 2022. But this actually got people talking a lot more when Doja Cat went on her IG live to shave her eyebrows. After she did that her fans were extremely scared and she decided to address this mental breakdown check this out everybody being like you're on drugs and you're crazy and what has she done to herself and you need help you need like don't be afraid to like you need to seek help um that stuff is so it's it's really heavy it's a heavy thing and it's kind of funny because I, I always was the person to be like posting dumb shit on the internet. Like, I mean, for, for 
interesting example I made Moo. I have a song called like I'm a cow and I'm like rapping about like literally being a cow and like I got famous off of that. I I don't care. And I have had moments in my life where I have not been well. I there was a moment where I was really stressed out and this was like maybe eight years ago or something like that, a long time ago. Um, yeah, much, I mean, even further back, I was like very not in a good place. I've, I've like had that issue before. And you guys would know, or, or actually, I was still performing and touring, but nobody could tell that I was going through this. And it's just funny, it's like, the second that I get to feeling like I'm free and I feel cool. But I'm like, I'm chill and like I really, I want you guys to not be, if you really have, you know, love for me and you really are concerned about me, I do want you to know that like, this isn't uh, like a cry for help or an issue of any sort. This is just me having no hair. And I'm still the same me. Um, I guess the bigger, the bigger difference now in my life is that I'm not performing and working as much. So I have a little bit more freedom. And uh, I think that that kind of makes me overexert in a way. Like I'm like kind of crazy on the internet more more so now just because I have that time. Um, And I get bored. I get bored now. I used to not really get bored. Um, So yeah. I really do appreciate you guys being like concerned. I don't appreciate the randoms who are in here probably right now who are like you're you're sick (laughs) like it's just not cool to like diagnose people that you don't know um but yeah I've just I've always been like this and I'm probably always going to be like this um and I don't I it's it's actually sad that I have to explain this stuff, because a lot of people don't, um, but it's, it's, I guess it's where I put myself, you know, I kind of, I kind of brought this on myself, um, I have a lot of people, a lot of eyes on me, I have a lot of followers, so, you know, not every single one of them is cool, not every single one of my followers is kind, not every single one of my followers is You know what I mean? Like, some of y'all are actually... Some of y'all are following me, but you don't have my best interests at heart. And you really do have the ability to to hurt me. Like, you, you would go out of your way to say something that is hurtful or insensitive. Um, and we all say... But I want you to know that I know that. And I just... I don't care. I don't care how you feel about me doing this um, if you don't care about how I feel in general as a person. And yeah, so that's basically that. And I love you guys. Thank you so much to all the people who care and are supporting me. I really do. I love you. I don't say it enough, but I do. And uh yeah all right everybody have a good one i'm out bye so as you see doja cat did go ahead and shave her eyebrows and she basically said in the next live that nothing's wrong with her this is what she wanted to do but 
after she did all this shaving, there is a black woman and underground artist that goes by Ayakmi, and I'm so sorry if I said that wrong, who actually calls out Doja Cat. And she says that Doja Cat did all of this because she's trying to imitate her. Talk about a mess. Now, while I was doing this video, you guys, I was actually able to find how to say her name. She actually goes by Key, K-I, and her Instagram actually says, I am am key so I do apologize y'all know I'm a little slow but I found it now to give you guys some backstory on key after Doja Cat did come out to reveal her new look without her eyebrows and also being bald this is where we saw key really go off she started with this on Twitter I've had enough she legit has been rude and treated me like nothing just to copy me please I've looked like this for eight years. This is not just a brand. It's the embodiment of my artistry and I will not be silenced. I'm tired of popular girls stealing from the true artist. They ignore you just to become you. These girls are so tired and uninspired, child. I will never understand why girls in this industry sit there copying each other. I am the only I am key. My inspiration stems from God and Depeche mode, you girls scare me. This girl has legitimately made me feel like trash at every party I've seen her at. Doja Cat is a bully just to take my look. I'm sizzled. I don't believe in drama but i've had it up to here bullying me just to ignore me to become me doja cat i am no longer supporting your gimmick attention starving and unoriginal taste in fashion you are lucky i'm a thespian and make message music you could never now key also goes on to instagram and she says this hashtag doja cat or copycat i don't remember doing this photo shoot is that me no that's doja cat no wait that is me did she copy Nicki Minaj? Isn't it terrible that women can't work together? They just take from each other. Hashtag woman on woman crime. Now several people are also reacting to this on social media. One IG user saying this, please Doja Cat, you can never be I am key. Never. I have seen better originality Doja. Don't let anyone take over your creativity. You are one of a kind. I am key. I know you work hard for yourself very hard. Now, look, you guys, Doja Cat does not address this. I, I didn't expect her to, but she might. But I want to give my take on this situation. So while I do think that there is some inspiration there, right? There is definitely some inspiration. If you look at Doja Cat's picture and you look at I Am Key, you notice that the aesthetic is exactly the same. I mean, Doja Cat is wearing even a similar necklace is down to the jewelry but I don't think that Doja Cat is specifically biting off of um I am key I think she's biting off a bunch of artists you guys know that I've said from day one that Doja Cat is a melting pot she is a very very good imitator right she embodies Nicki Minaj she embodies all these different artists and sometimes her right Doja who she is does get lost in that similarity with that being said, I also feel like Doja Cat is also kind of going for the aesthetic more in the grinds area, right? I've seen Doja Cat do a lot of things that the singer-songwriter Grimes has done um, as far as her clothing, fashion, and how she carries herself. So could this be some type of imitation? Yes, but I do think that Doja Cat is definitely getting inspiration because you can't really say that that's not true. True. She is literally wearing almost an identical necklace to I am key. On top of that, people are also calling out key because they're saying, wait, didn't your best friend call you out on social media? People are saying that no one should believe key because of a weak moment she had with her best friend. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, her best friend does go by um, Anastasia Alexander and 
he actually called him out for faking after he had been threatening people to basically end his life here on earth and so she called him out and she accused him of just being broke because he was asking for money during this time now he did come out and apologize she said she had a moment of weakness she goes on to say this she said it was out of sadness she said i was bitter and upset and had a weak moment i own up to that also day in and day out he was telling me he wanted to do this he says it legit every day so of course this is a little messy and so doja cat fans are bringing up this best friend but at the end of the day that does not matter you can't get past the fact that doja cat is definitely getting some inspiration she looks identical almost to this woman i am key and oftentimes we see this happen a lot where you have pop stars or influencers who may not have a huge platform like some of these a-list artists and they do get swallowed up in that and they do get bitten off of y'all know that doja is my girl but in this case i'm on the fence i don't know so you guys let me know what you think about this down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a big thumbs up i love you guys two minutes back and we'll chop it up very soon bye